What is up, Babylonians? Dan was here, and today we're going to be talking about the controversy around Fortress and Moaning Winds. So let's get straight into it. Unless you've been living under a rock for the last couple of days, you'll probably have seen that there has been some updates to some of the damage mods on weapons. Now, this isn't actually what we're going to be talking about today. Instead, we're going to be looking at a different topic, which has come from this, which is that every other content creator seems to be talking about the big nerfs that are coming uh, to Fortress and to Moaning Winds. Now, where have they got this information from? Not a clue. At no point has PCF uh, or Square Enix come out at any point to say we are looking to nerf Fortress or we are looking to nerf Moaning Winds. What these creators seem to have done is picked up on the fact that the developers have said that they were not expecting Moaning Winds to be such a prevalent mod that people would use in the way that they have done. They expected it to be a mod that you would put on your weapon, you would use it on that single weapon, to deal a large area of effect damage to a large amount of enemies and then you'd switch to another weapon uh, which would have like a single target damage set on it rather than the high damage for an area of effect that the moaning winds gives now i think what creators have done is send this message and thought right so the only way they can make a change here is to to nerf it and they've done the same with fortress because uh, it was mentioned that fortress was never intended to be a sort of go-to mod that everyone is going to have on every single weapon. So they've almost said that you don't really have a choice as to whether you have Fortress or not. It's a you have to have it to get that high DPS to complete those expeditions as quickly as possible. Now, with this, again, I can, I can say uh, honestly that I have not seen anything to say they're going to nerf this. In fact, what I got from it is that there might even be more like a buff than a nerf to Fortress, as they have said that they're going to look for, maybe like, well, from what I gather, they're going to look for other ways of um, implementing Fortress, so it's not a must-have um, mod. Uh, so where you have to well where you either make a choice of you have it or you lose out on nearly 50 percent damage but what it could be in my mind is they could be changing it to maybe to the the class tree so you can select it from there um rather than having to take up a mod slot now we haven't got any confirmation of this we haven't got any confirmation of nerfs but and yet that's what it's been reported on by all content creators at the moment that there are big nerfs coming now I think people can fly know that this would actually be them shooting themselves in the foot if they nerfed anything like that. I know Moaning Winds and Fortress, I mean, I use them myself, so I know that they are a big part of the game. They are, they are literally the meta when it comes to an anomaly build. So they would definitely be shooting themselves in the foot if they were to, to nerf those. But making a change to them, I am all for that. I, I do think that... They didn't believe that it would be something you'd stick on three weapons and you'd switch between it and be able to pop off that amount of damage with three of them uh, in the, the, the t in like a two second sort of time frame. So if they were to change it, I would not be angry. If they changed it so you, you had to reload and once the reload was complete, so once the ammo was back in the mags, then you got the moaning wind uh, area of effect damage implemented i would be perfectly happy with that it would slow down times uh, in speedruns but I, I do think it would be an acceptable i guess you could call it a nerf but you're not reducing the damage you're just reducing the time in which you can inflict that now if they didn't want to change that again i'm fine with it. i think that there is actually nothing wrong with it per se but maybe bring in other mods in line with it so like they have done um, with the, the latest patch they've actually changed it so th things like the Strings of Gorse is doing like 260% more damage than it was doing so more mods like that are going to sort of try and switch up, up the meta so you, you're going to look at that now and think oh my god I could use that and it's going to be 
from range as well. You don't need to get up close. It's every, I believe it was three seconds with that, maybe five. But you can use that a lot quicker than you can Moaning Winds. So you're going to be able to uh, attack things up to five enemies with that at a time, but from distance and a lot quicker. So I think the best thing to do really is to bring in uh, buffs to current mods um, rather than nerfing anything, which, like I say, they haven't mentioned they are going to nerf anything. This is just entirely speculation from the community and from content creators. So I think, realistically, I think the, the hate that is being generated as well from these videos saying that there is going to be massive nerfs is just ridiculous really we, we don't need that kind of hate on this game there's enough hate on it which has been created by other false statements like like these before um i know people are sort of upset about the bugs that are in there at the moment which they are working on to get fixed so i'm sure in time we'll see the latest patch come through which is fixing quite a few different bugs which we'll report on when that does come through but until then, I say I think the game is in a, a solid state at the moment. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to get these latest buffs to the mods that they've brought out. It's switching up the meta. I mean, me and Songs of Rays, we are actually looking to see what, what these buffs can do for our, our builds. Whether we can switch from a Moaning Winds to Strings of Gorse. And then testing out all the ones of the Claymore. Uh, I know it was one of them. Ultimate Storm Whip was another one. Um... But yeah, we're going to be testing these, making videos on them, showing what they can do and whether they can become the meta. So I think realistically we need to look to the positives that they are still working on the game. They're still creating updates and patches for the game, changing things, trying to switch up the meta. Uh, of which I think I know a lot of people have said that they're not happy that it's a, it's a PvE game. Uh, why should we have to switch up the meta? Why can't we just use what we want to use? Which to me, really, my counter argument to that is... That's what they're allowing you to do. They are making buffs so that you can use what you want to use. Do you like to see lightning fall from the sky and zap your enemies and deal high damage? If the answer is yes, then these patches are great for you. If you are not happy with uh, other mods being uh, buffed so they come in line with, or they could even possibly be better than Moaning Winds in certain situations, why? Why are you not happy with that? that? That's my question to the community. Why would you not be happy with the buffs that they are implementing? And why are you looking at the, the recent patch as potentially being a nerf on, let's be honest, it is everyone's favourite mods. And, I mean, if something better comes out, that will easily change. So people are, are easily swayed, and you're definitely, if something better than Money Winds comes out, this one gets buffed so it destroys that, then you'll all be loving that new mod. So, like I said, my, my question to you is, why why are people saying that they don't like these buffs that are coming out? Why do they not like the fact that the game is still actually being worked on? I know a lot of you want new content, uh, which we, we do know is coming. They have announced that new content is coming, and new features. What those are, we do not know just yet. Uh, like I say, as soon as we do know, we will let you know. But really, I think the, the hate on this game is just beyond unbelievable at the moment. You, you don't need to hate on a, a game because a content creator said massive nerfs incoming when they have no actual evidence to support that, other than the fact that uh, the Outriders and People Can Fly themselves have said that they are looking into what they can do to improve the game and that they have noticed that uh, Moaning Winds and Fortress are the meta. If anything, I'd say it's great that they are looking at user data and seeing that these are, are being used a lot and making changes because it, it keeps the game fresh. If you're, I know some people are saying that you're going to be grinding for, for hours trying to get, uh, you might be grinding for hours to get the Animoir. You could get it and then it becomes non-meta anymore. But that's where future buffs would come into play and they might look to switch it back up to a new meta or the, a previous meta. And it's just continuing that grind, really. So some people hate the, the grind, but personally, I think me and Songs of Rays, we both enjoy the grind. So it is something we're happy to, to if 
something new comes out, a new meta, we're happy to continue to work towards that. So let me know your thoughts anyway. Uh, like I say, this is not against anyone in particular at all. This is just the, from what I've seen of other content creators have said nerfs incoming and a lot of the community, the comments on those videos are just pure hatred towards um, towards people can fly and outriders, which personally like I say, I don't agree with. Uh, I think we need to stay positive. I think if you if you don't like what a developer's doing in terms of not getting updates out quick enough, then surely the best way is to send positivity to them. You, if you think about yourself, if you're at work and people are saying how, how bad you are at your job and they hate the, the product that you're producing, it's no good, you're not going to feel, oh, I know, let's put even more effort into that to make it even better. You're going to look at it and go, oh, well, that's got me down now. I'm not going to work as hard because I'm just not feeling like it. Whereas if you send positivity to them, if they see positive comments saying how great you think their game is or the potential that it could have, then they are more likely to, to be happy and more likely to work harder and create the content that we want and we deserve. That's it from me anyway. So comment below your thoughts and as always, enjoy.